In this video we're going to look at a few pointers on lens cortex cleanup. But before we do we're going to say a word on entry site construction. Have a look here and you can see that we're making the paracentesis a little bit generous. And we're also using a keratome here to make the side ports. Now why is that? A lot of people use MVR blades or even 15 degree blades to do this. But the thing I like about the keratome, let's just zoom in on that now so we can see, it gives you a trapezoidal entry. So we're superimposing that pattern there. And the importance of this is that it allows you this freedom of movement here to rotate the iron day, swing it about in the anterior chamber without stretching the entry site. And less stretch equals better seating function and less need for wound hydration at the end of surgery. The counter argument is that you want to make your paracentesis small so that uh, you don't have problems with iris prolapse. Well, you won't if you don't press down posteriorly. And the thing that I'm going to be emphasizing throughout this video series is the value of floating and pivoting in your entry sites and not moving the eye around and not exerting posterior pressure. Okay, back to INA technique. The cataract has been removed and we're ready to clean up the cortex. I'd recommend starting through the main entry site and we're sweeping the periphery, engaging, stripping into the center and then aspirating. Let's see that again. We're sweeping under the anterior capsule there with a tangential movement in the periphery. We're stripping into the center and then we're aspirating in the rexis plane. And remember, we're floating and pivoting all the time, not sitting down on the entry site, avoiding excessive aspiration and not collapsing the anterior chamber. If anything, I'd recommend a very subtle lift when you're working through the main entry site in order to keep the anterior chamber nice and full. And as soon as the angle is less than optimal through the main entry site, you can come to your side ports. Again, you're sweeping in the periphery, engaging underneath the anterior capsule, stripping into the center and then aspirating. And then once again, reaching under the anterior capsule, stripping into the center and aspirating. Coming in from the other side and here you can see what happens if you grasp the cortex over the posterior capsule rather than on the anterior capsule. It tends to strip away less cleanly leaving a lot of strandy cortex in the periphery and we're left with this quite flamboyant sweeping motion perfectly safe if you maintain low aspiration. This tangential sweeping motion with light aspiration is not only effective at grasping the strands of peripheral cortex, it can also be used to polish the lens epithelium. Any clinical benefit from polishing the lens epithelium is probably small, but it gives you a feel for the right level of vacuum to use. There are lots of different INA systems out there, and I would encourage you to try all of them and find the one that suits you best. The Simcoe is extremely good for teaching and extremely safe. Okay, I hope that's useful, and in the next video we're going to deal with some tips on phacoemulsification technique.